Hello HP Touchpad users, great news! Today I want to tell you about some excellent Cyanogen Mod 11 builds on the HP Touchpad. Today we'll be talking about the talented JC Sullens and his fantastic build. You can check it out here in the XDA Developers Forum. Big Simon hosts a fantastic thread for us right here, come check it out. All the important links will be here in the OP. Now these builds are a little different than the builds you're currently running. If you're not familiar with data media builds, you're going to need to educate yourself by checking out these two great threads here. First off, we have my great thread here. It will explain exactly what a data media build, what are the advantages, how to get it installed, and all the possible options. Next up, we have MP Grimm 2's thread here. Now this is a fantastic thread that goes into some very great detail about the ROMs themselves, about the details, about installing it. Check it out, he's got some fantastic information. And here, of course, you'll find the downloads. Here's the ROM itself. And there's two Clockwork Mod versions that are available. You read about them in my thread, I'll explain them in my video as well. GApps packages. And coming soon, the extras with the TP Toolbox. Not quite out yet. Of course, credits to all our great people involved. JC Sullins is the very talented developer who does a lot of great things for the HP Touchpad. We all know and love him. Of course, we've got to thank the Cyanogen Mod team. Thank me while we're at it, why not? And of course, MP Grim 2 and Paranoid Android. Thanks, everybody. First, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of my thread here. It's available here and at the Roots Wiki Forum. We'll go to the Roots Wiki Forum where noobs can post, of course. It's a little better format for our video. Now right at the top we have our navigation links. Here's the full how to install video. It's very detailed. It'll read you pretty much everything in this thread and explain it. And there's a time code right here that you can reveal with a little hide menu if you want to move ahead. If you're a more advanced user, you can probably just skip right to step one. Here's the Q&A with all the details. Now I've got to point out that these new data media builds have new kernels and new kernels make our touchpad run more efficiently. The kernel communicates and allocates resources between the software and the hardware. So there's some big improvements here. Other improvements too, read them about them all here or just check out my video. And we get all the way down to the ROM links. Here is the great JC Sullins build, but of course we have other builds you can check out and try. Big thanks to all the developers involved. We have two types of kernels. We have the 3.0 kernel and the 3.4 kernel. Check them out. Now I'm going to switch over to my HP touchpad and take you on a little tour. Here we are on my HP touchpad. I'm running the latest JC Solon Cyanogen Mod 11 build with the 3.0 kernel. Just look how smooth my home screen scrolls. It's great. If you're wondering, I'm using the Go Launcher EX. Now let's go to our settings menu and I'll show you what ROM and all the specifics about it. Go to About Tablet from your settings menu. Here's my Android version, Android 4.4.2. My kernel version, the 3.0 kernel. And my version of Cyanogen Mod. Big thanks to JC Sons for making this great build and supporting it. I just want to note if you hit build number seven times, you'll get extra menus here on the side. You'll get the developer options, super user, and performance. There's overclocking features in performance, but of course be careful. Now a lot of people always ask, what is the battery life like? Well, I've had some really good battery life. I've got my Wi-Fi to set to turn off when the screen goes off, and it's been getting as low as minus six. It even charges with the USB cable, but not very quickly. So I've been getting some great battery life. I'd say the average is about minus six to minus 20. And you can just see my history is pretty long. I've been using it for some time and it's lasted quite well. So great battery life in this latest build. Next up, how about the camera? Well, the camera works, of course. Big thanks to Dorgary, who got the camera working for us back in CM9 days. Hi there. Sorry, wearing a headset. Big thumbs up, please. Thanks for watching, everybody. There we have it. The camera is working. Now, the audio is, of course, working, but I can't play any music for you because of the copyright concerns. YouTube videos, HD videos, everything is working. Video acceleration and all of that. Now, I'm going to show you that Bluetooth support is there. I just have to enable it here from the menu. I've got actually a Bluetooth toggle widget there, so I'll just hit that. And I'm going to connect my Logitech keyboard. Let me just switch it on there. It'll kind of lag out for a second when it first connects. 
There we go. And you can see the Logitech tablet and keyboard for Android is attached. Now Bluetooth support is there, uh, but I've had some issues with some of the keys on the keyboard not working. Not really a big deal, but it's great to see that Bluetooth support is here and is functioning. Of course, JC Sellens deserves a lot of credit for getting Bluetooth working in all the previous builds, Signage and Mod 10.1, 10.2, and 11 now. So great to see that, and big thanks to him again. Now I'm going to take you back to the forum thread for a minute to show you that the Dolphin browser will support Adobe Flash. If you use the Dolphin browser plus the Jetpack plugin plus the hacked Adobe Flash file APK, you'll be able to get Flash support on your HP touchpad. You have to use that combination. Here you can see it's working for me. And I'll show you where the notes are about that in the thread. All the way at the bottom we have some important notes for you and little fixes and that sort of thing. So if you have any questions, just refer back to here. Let's take a look at the frequently asked questions. And here you can see what I was saying about the Flash support. Here you can get the hacked Flash player here and links to the Dolphin browser and the Jetpack plugin. Now next up, I know Netflix is a concern for some people. Now we've heard kind of mixed reviews about some people saying it working, some people saying they're getting kind of blocky looking displays. So hopefully with an update that'll get fixed. So it may be working and if not, if you're using a different ROM, you can also get a link here to get it all installed for you. So if you're using a different ROM and you don't have Netflix support, get your support here in number two. Now another note about the JC Sullins build is that when I installed it, it didn't boot into CyanogenMod Mod by default. I had to flash this zip by him to make it the default boot. So if you're having problems, you're booting right into WebOS and you want to boot into CyanogenMod, Mod, just download and flash this zip right here. Now we have some other helpful tips and tweaks. Now, another important note, people were saying that there was issues with the latest version of Google Maps. Well, apparently you can get an older version and that will work for you. You just have to disable the updating, and get this older 6.14.4 version. Read all about it here. Now I have a nice low battery drain. Sometimes people ask me about that. Now I like to turn off the network location services and have my Wi-Fi turn off uh, while my tablet is sleeping. So some people like those preferences on. I turn them off. I get a slightly lower battery drain. Here is the enabling the developer mode like we talked about. Anyways, there you have it. We've got a very functional HP touchpad running the latest versions of Android. Everything's working. Big thanks to JC Sullins. Please like the video and subscribe to see the latest updates in the future. I will be covering all the builds eventually, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everybody.